Enid, give me that toy. It's not for fearful kids like you. Wednesday, but you hate pink. Somebody save me. One more incident and I'll call their dads to school. Silence! I hate noise. My ears! I confiscate mommy long legs. None of you will have it. That's where it belongs. <laughs> Finally, the classroom is quiet, and I can enjoy the wonderful taste of my favorite coffee. Huh? Oh, my stomach! I'm watching you. We'll behave well. <laughs> sure. Is it prank time? Let's do it. Your favorite coffee is served, Mr. Myers. Don't spill it. <laughs> Lucky the teacher keeps aloe in the classroom. Its juice is great for nourishing and moisturizing hand skin. Mr. Myers should also thank us. Together, these two rebels will come up with the most unusual ways to make fun of a teacher. So that wasn't my back. Hmm. You're up to something again. Hmm, they're being diligent. Hmm. Too diligent. I'll enjoy the moment. Ah, my coffee. Is this your doing? Uh-oh. Are my pants glued to the chair? How am I going to face my colleagues now? Ah, why is there slime? Oh, not the portrait. You. <laughs> You've become part of the picture. What do you think of hand moisturizing? You two bullies have played enough. I'm calling your dads into my office. Oops. Just not this. Meeting its dad, rich Mr. Sinclair. It's been a long time since I've been to school. Oh, I'm getting nostalgic. What? Enid's a loser, that's not true. Who could write such nonsense? I think I know. No teachers. <laughs> Let everyone at school know who the biggest loser here is. Hey, what are you doing? Nothing. What? The elves made me do it. Please, young lady. Please, just don't take me to the headmaster. I'm not that cruel. I have a job for you. Interested? What do I need to do? Nothing complicated. Listen here. When no one's looking, you hang this up. Who's that? Looks like the school has a new guest. Wednesday's father, Mr. Adams. Also known as a poor man. Whoa! Ouch! What terrible weather! It's just like high school days. Long time no see, Mr. Adams. Let me give you a hand. You got called too, Sinclair? Apparently our daughters got along well. Oh, hey, Thing. Nice manicure. Hide for now. Shall we go? Maybe the girls will be praised for their grades. Ah, they're on the honor board. No, they are the main mm. troublemakers. Not what I expected. Ahem, you're finally here. Please come into my office. I'm having a serious talk with you. What's that supposed to mean? Enid's dad is so generous. I was wrong, she really is the best. What a mess have you made? It wasn't me. You're in for a serious punishment. Where did you run? What nerve. Good job. Follow me. I smell bad news, and I trust my werewolf sense. And Mr. Myers must have a severe stage of narcissism. My great aunt had it. Yeah, the headmaster is also a perfectionist. I can see why he's so strict. Hmm. Hmm, I might need that later. I'm a little worried. Got held up, had to reprimand the students. They were talking half a tone higher than they should. Hmm, something's not right. I'm sure the desk looked different when I left. Tell me, what's missing from my desk? We have no idea. We didn't touch anything, honestly. There's something has disappeared, but I can't figure out what it is. Write in the comments what item is missing. Now let's talk about your daughter's behavior. Ew, wow. it stinks of poverty. It's torture to my sensitive sense of smell. It's a good thing I carry anti-poverty spray. I don't want to smell like a snub. 
Yeah, huh, huh, huh? Oh no, here comes the snot attack. Hide. Uh oh. Achoo! Dodged that. Ooh. Oh yeah, forgot what umbrella I had. Sorry, I'm allergic to glitter. Oh, thank you, kind hand. Ah! Hello. It also talks. Ah, oh no, not again. <laughs> Ouch! The apple falls near the tree, huh? You have detention! Oops! What a twist! Oh, Daddy, you're here too? What have they done to you? Mr. Sinclair, come to the board! Me? All right. Write the phrase, I will set a good example for my daughter a thousand times! Is this necessary? And I can just work on my invention. Behave yourself. And I'll mm. think of a new punishment in the meantime, so... Don't bother me. You'll do fine. It's under control, honey. I need a hint. <sighs> the solution is on the table. Thanks, I got it. All right. All that's left to do is figure out how to neutralize them. I definitely have something useful with me. Not that, not that either, that won't help, and what do I need it for? Oh, found it, just what I need. Haha, <laughs> now he can't put them on and won't see anything. So I won't waste my time. That will be enough. Ahem, I finished. <laughs> huh, what, that's it? I was having such a good dream. I did as you asked. I don't see anything. Strange, why can't I open my glasses? I told you it would work. Yay! Oh, uh, what, did you think you could trick me? <laughs> it's just a misunderstanding. Um, maybe we can make a deal. <clears throat> I don't take bribes. Oh, my poor sensitive ears. What the butt? Should do it all over again. Well, I got it, I got it. <laughs> That's it for sure now. Psst. The teleporter's ready. It's time to get out of here. Finally. Enid, are you with us? Wow, where does it take us? Away from here. Put your hands on the button to make it work. I hope we're going to Hawaii. Where are we? I have a bad feeling about this. Oh. Huh? Interesting. Are we in jail? New neighbors. Let's show them who's in charge. Hey, losers. Hurry up and fix it. Teleport us. Phew, I was almost scared. Bro, we're free. But what is this place? F for behavior. Sit down now. Yes, sir. He's worse than the warden. How are we going to get out of here? We're stuck forever. We're screwed. Where did I go wrong this time? They're hopeless. I think I fixed it. Please stop. Are we back in the cell? What a joy. It's much better here. We're back in school. The headmaster isn't here and it's 7 p.m. Right. So we're free? I'll check on something. The door is locked. That means one thing. Mr. Myers went home and left us overnight. But even at night, the rich Sinclair and the poor Adams family are in for a surprise. The school is empty now. It's the perfect opportunity for me. Someone's up to something. It's locked. Afraid someone will steal the markers. Oh, I know what to do. Nails for all occasions will help me. Could it be robbers? Gotta be careful. Done. Better not to make any noise. And the school is even creepier at night than it is during the day. I'll watch for a while, just like dad taught. Perfect. All the posters are hung up. Maybe I'll get an extra payment. Who's here? You're trapped, thief. Oh, don't touch me. Where are you running off to? Someone's being tortured? Let me go, please. What's going on here? We missed a lot while we were sleeping. Going far? Can't run away from fate. Hmm. Enid is the best? 
Mommy, I'm scared. Wednesday, wait, I think I know who that is. Oh, there's been a little misunderstanding. Let her go. Save me, Mr. Sinclair. Hmm. I don't like these posters. I'm not happy with them either. Don't look at me like that, it's scary. Oh, I have a suggestion on how to fix this. Psst, will you do as I ask? Money up front. Yeah, no problem. Oh, I'll do my best. Coffee is the only thing in the morning that doesn't irritate me. Wednesday and Enid are the best. You got the tape. How could I forget? Don't worry, Miss Wheeler. It won't hurt. Just look at them. Wednesday and Enid are little kids. <laughs> and they seem to be mischievous. Oh, wow, my hair! Ah! <laughs> we must help her. Don't move, Miss Wheeler. There's some serious punishment for such behavior at the Nevermore Academy. Police! Freeze, I'm from the department to combat the naughtiest kids. Who would have thought that a simple prank could lead to this? Wednesday, what took you so long? Miss Wheeler sleeps too much. Wednesday and Enid are too young to serve time in prison on their own. So their mothers have to keep them company. What a creepy cell. All this web and its eight-legged inhabitants. Did they blow up a rainbow here? These bright, cheap colors will make us both sick. No way Wednesday and her rich mom are ever gonna like this cell. Mom, what should we do? I have an idea. Hey, Enid, come here. Don't touch anything. I propose to switch cells. Take the money and leave the spiders to us. This colorful nightmare clearly suits you better. Well, it's hard to disagree with that. Enid, we're moving. Hmm, I like it better here. We still have work to do. Nice. Let's make it even nicer. It's time to start your re-education. I won't go. Yes, you will. Education is important. Oh, of course. Enid, behave yourself and learn everything Officer Wallace says. Come on, girls. Yeah, looks cheap. Rich Mom Wednesday must just hate such poor furnishing. But she knows how to fix it. Expensive gothic decor will make the girls feel at home. And the final touch. Now you can live here. Poor mom Enid doesn't mind getting her cell in order either. It's a pity that the same magic is not available to her, but imagination Ooh. is. You can't have too many bright colors. I'll just take some toothpaste. It will take quite a bit. Let's add some water. Now stir well, and it's ready. Only Enid could choose the rainbow paint for the decor in the prison. Now we have our own rainbow. Oh, nice, my daughter's gonna love it. <laughs> Now it's perfect. Time to add some light. Not for long, though. Don't worry, this is not an escape. Just a little prank for our neighbor. <gasps> Moon, uh. Hey, want a snack? Catch it. Now let's hope that Enid isn't gonna turn into a werewolf right in the cell. Uh-uh. <laughs> hey, these are evidence, not toys. Put them away and let's move on to the lesson. Well, it's hard to re-educate these girls. Your first task is five years plus seven years is equal to... Your answer? Hey, pick up the phone now. Hee <laughs> hee, does his ear hurt? I said pick up the phone, little criminals. Wednesday, maybe let's just answer him. No, it'll make our classes boring. It's right there, the phone, pick it up. Otherwise, you're in a world of trouble. We don't get it. It's not clear. Looks like the first lesson in prison was over before it even started. Hey, where are you going? Get back here now. Well, how do you like our cell, Enid? Now it's our style. What do you think, Wednesday? Terrible job, Mom. I like it. Mm. It's my favorite photo. Well, well, someone's got hungry. Officer Wallace, it's time for us to have a bite. Dinner is served. Bon appetit. Wow, you can't serve that to the werewolves. Well, at least something. Well, the girls can't stay hungry, right? Though, does anyone know how to eat those oatmeal bricks? I won't eat that. Blech. Try to imagine that this is chicken. Oh, <gasps> what should we do? Mmm, what a scent. Yummy. Hmm. It's not a donut, but still tasty. Mm. Ah, it's time for a nap. Mm. This is a great opportunity mm. to take advantage of the officer's irresistible love for sweets. Oops, 
Phew! Only it seems like that love turned out to be so strong that the new can of whipped cream is already empty. I have an idea. Who's there? Hurrah! I love whipped cream. Wait. Let's exercise our taste buds by eating with our eyes closed. Okay, now let's go. Mmm, so delicious! I present to you our signature dish, prison oatmeal. It's disgusting. Blech. That's what I expected. But you don't need to get upset. We have a special menu for rich prisoners. Please, madame and mademoiselle, choose what your heart desires. If you have it, of course. Anyway, anything for your money. Apparently, Wednesday's mom wasn't impressed with the rich oh. menu. After all, these girls are not like ordinary rich people, which means they have special tastes. A web with a spider instead of cream and a bar of gold instead of cheese? That's right, only the Adams family would like this dish. Ugh, I can't look at that. I really need something to take my mind off that. Huh? Oh, I forgot to tear off the page. It's such a stressful job. No wonder I have memory lapses. Friday the 13th is a special date for our prisoners. We almost forgot. Enid, mm. is it all set? Sure, it's good that we prepared in advance. Happy birthday, girls! A special cake for special kids. We just need to divide it into two halves. Stop. Sharp objects are prohibited in prison. I'm confiscating that. But oh. how am I supposed to cut it now? I have a solution. One minute. Mm -hmm. Done. Try this. It should work. Wow. Thank you. I hope you like it. Enid, this is your half. 100% dark chocolate cake for Wednesday. And a fluffy strawberry biscuit for Enid. I have a present. Whoa. This is for you, daughter. Wow, Moroccan annelids. Mm -hmm. I knew you'd like them. Sure, there are only 50 of them left in the world. Well, now it's only 20 of them left. Hmm. Wait, here, I've got you some more. Awesome, they're black. Thanks, Mom. Aww. It's not all yet. She is so beautiful. Made to order. Oh. I love her. Don't peek. Now open your eyes. Ta-da! Wow, I've dreamed of a Barbie doll for so huh? long. Thank you, Mommy. Oh. Oops. Oops. That's okay. It's just our nature. I have an idea. Enid's broke mother would never afford oh. to order a new doll for her daughter. Wow, interesting. Whoa. But she can do anything with her own hands. You can learn how to do any hairstyle with her. Do you like her? You bet. My little snake. Did you like the doll? I'll always remember the good. The fun doesn't end there. You're going to play with Wednesday. Mm. I'll do anything you wish. <laughs> now, put this lock here. Yes, like this. And this one here. Well done. Hurrah. <gasps> now I know how to braid. Well, Wednesday's hairstyle doll is more realistic. <laughs> Poor Officer Wallace even passed out from the stress. <laughs> Am I alive? Am I in heaven? Let's see. No, it's more like I'm in a living hell. 5, 000, 10, 20. A cocktail for a VIP inmate. Here's your money. Hmm, okie dokie. Ooh. Wait, I can offer you more. Wow, oh. nice. It can all be yours mm -hmm. if you let me escape. 100, 200. I'm sorry, ma'am, I can't. Otherwise, I'm done. Have a nice day. Nasty mustache. I'll come up with something anyway. Does Officer Wallace really think that Wednesday can give up so easily? He shouldn't leave this cunning woman unsupervised. <gasps> Only naive little girls don't know how to take <gasps> fingerprints. I learned this when I was six. And with my kind of money, I can get everything I need even in prison. And also, I don't need anything super expensive here. Except for some gold dust. Actually, you may not want it, but I do. Hmm. As opposed to my lack of desire to tie the knot, I will never get married. Hmm. Never. I have more important things to do. Hey, how did you get out? Bye-bye. Hello, get back to your cell, lady, and no more breakouts. It's not over yet. I'll find a way, you'll see. Oh, meh, meh, meh. You shouldn't have bragged about it. Enid seems to be onto something as well. We have an ordinary lock, which means we need an ordinary master key. The nail file will do the job. My werewolf claws always help me out. And who's saying bye now? 
This lock is harder to break than I thought. Never mind. I have nine more claws to spare. Now I have just five. Plan A failed. Let's try plan B. It's harder to escape this prison than it seems at first glance. We'll have to serve out our sentence. So day after day passed, and the girls' moms lost their hope for an early release. But little Wednesday and her friend Enid weren't used to giving up. Thing, pass it to Enid. Thing, what is it? Let me see. This is a message from Wednesday. Let's break out of here. I'd love to. Looks like Enid has been waiting a long time for Wednesday to offer it. And judging by their tools, the girls are ready to take some drastic measures. Let's move on to the main part of the plan. Ouch, it hurts. Help me. What happened? Are you okay? We don't mean to upset you, but you're the one who's not okay here, officer. As Enid and Wednesday are doing just great. Good job, girl. Ew, sandwich. Just in time. Now let's run. Ah, hmm. uh, what happened here? Mm -hmm. Enid, wake up. <gasps> Enid, the officer is out. Oh, <gasps> he must be just sleeping. I doubt that. Wednesday, I have great news. So get ready. Ta-da. I'm expecting a baby. Wow. You're pregnant too? We'll both be moms. I'm glad. How are you, dearie? But the baby kicks all the time. He's probably a future footballer. Let's see. Well, if your daughter is interested in sports. I'm having a girl? Yes. Congratulations. How is the mommy to be? Hmm, so no complaints then. Wednesday, look, you're carrying a girl. Well, that doesn't look like a child. Wait, where'd she go? Something's wrong. Hey, this is not a toy. There she is. Only the baby looks to be upset with something. That's how she smiles, like her mother. Thanks, Doc. Of course, anytime. Ooh. <gasps> It's time to arrange a nursery for my little beauty. We're gonna have as more of these pretty little flowers on her bed as possible. Real princesses should be rolling in flowers. My daughter will also have flowers. Special ones. The Venus flytrap will protect my child from any uninvited guests. Stuffed Pikachu and beautiful Barbie will be perfect for my little daughter. Aww. Plush monsters are already waiting for my girl. Someone's missing. Now everyone's here. Just look at this adorable thing with such a musical crib mobile. It won't be scary for my girl to sleep here at all. That's just what you need for sweet dreams. My crib mobile was made to order. No one will ever get one like this. Pugsley, lie there. I need to test the crib. Just one thing. Ugh, mommy! The crib is good. 